has that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam, cause he's made to the core There's an emergency on the cliff. Action stations, everyone! Hoses, Elvis. Right to Sam. Come in, Station Officer Steele. The area is now secure. Hoses on standby, sir. Good work, everyone. Excellent training exercise. If anything goes wrong with Mike Flood's rocket launch this afternoon, we'll be ready. The Flood Flyer. I've spent years working on her. In a few hours, I'll be the first handyman to send a rocket into space. Hey, Mike, could you show me how to make a rocket like that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Norman. Building a rocket like this is very complicated. Oh, Mike, I know all about rockets. I do. Whoosh! <laughs> uh, all right, Norman. Uh, there's a book on making simple rockets in my workshop. Why don't you go and have a look and I'll help you make one after the launch. Cool! There. This should be far enough away from the launch area. Yes, we'll need to make sure everyone stands behind this tape. <gasps> Penny! Sam! Look! It's just like a real rocket. It is a real rocket, Elvis. That's why we have to make sure everything is as safe as can be. <gasps> hey, Mike! Your rocket looks amazing. Yes. She's a beauty, Elvis. Dad! <gasps> oh, no! Come back! Thank you, Sam. Might be an idea to put your handbrake on next time, Mike. Uh, uh, that should do it. Ah, I finished the posters, Norman. For your rocket launch, look. Great. Now go and stick them all over town. Everybody needs to see my rocket. Right. Gently tap the nose cone into place. <coughs> Genius! Well, it's all very well when the rocket goes up. But what about when it comes down again? It could land anywhere. Don't worry, Dillis. Mike's rocket has a parachute for when it lands. He's thought of everything, you see. <laughs> I thought Mike had the rocket, not Norman. No, Dad. Norman's built a rocket too, and it's even bigger than Mike's. Bigger, eh? I can't miss that. Count me in. James Jones, what are you doing sticking things to my clean windows? It's a poster for Norman's rocket launch, Mrs Price. <gasps> oh, this town has gone rocket mad. <laughs> Stop right there, Norman. I'm not having you setting off rockets willy-nilly. Oh, that's a shame, ma'am, because I really wanted you to press the launch button. Oh, the launch button? That's right, like the Queen launching a ship. Oh, like the Queen. Oh, what an honour. I can't understand. 
understand where everyone is. I thought everyone would love to see the Flood Flyer take to the skies. Um, maybe we can wait a bit. We can't wait too long, Elvis. We've got Jupiter, Venus, Helen and her ambulance here. What if there's another emergency somewhere else? Don't worry, Dad. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. Oh, it's not as big as I was expecting. Anyway, stand back, everyone. Come on, Mum. Press this button. <laughs> I name this rocket Ponty Pandy One. Happy landings. Clever Norman, then. So, when's the little parachute going to open? Um, parachute? You mean it hasn't got one for when it comes down? Ah, uh, no. Norman Price! It's heading towards the high street. Oh, no, quick! Oh, Everybody oh, run! Oh, the high street! This is Price's shop! Robin, call somebody! I'll call Fireman Sam. What? An out-of-control rocket heading for the high street? Ooh. Come in, Sam. There's a rocket heading towards the high street. This is not a practice run. Don't launch anything until we get back, Mike. Good job we had that training exercise, eh, Elvis? Yeah. So, where's this other rocket come from, Sam? <gasps> Out of space. This has got Norman Price written all over it. the hoses. Penny, you secure the area. Okay, okay Sam. Sam. Everybody back, please. The rocket may be unsafe. Ah, so this is your rocket, eh, Norman? Uh, no, yes, it was an accident. Okay, but right now I need to know how you made your rocket. Is it made from anything dangerous? I, I can't remember. I just did what it said in here. Uh, just more of it. You're sure you didn't put anything else in there? No, just that stuff. Lots of it. It's a simple bottle rocket. It's just a very big one. I think it's all going to be okay. I'm sorry. I thought I could build a rocket that was as cool as Mike's. Mike has spent years learning all about rockets and how to build them safely. It's not something you can learn in a day. I know, Sam. And now I've ruined Mike's launch too. Not necessarily. Once we've made sure the shop is safe, there'll still be time to get up to the cliffs. Thank you all very much for coming. And a special thank you to the Ponty Pandy Fire Brigade for being here to make sure everyone is safe. Here, here. So it just remains for me to say... Five, a four, three, two, one! Whoa! Get on there! See, Norman? That's what a rocket should be like! It's brilliant, Mike. Thanks, Norman. Hey! Remember you said you'd help me make a rocket? Yes, but you're going to have to wait a while, Norman. Why? I've got a certain supermarket window to fix first. Fireman Sam cuts his blade to the core Sam 